Okay, so this right here is my uh, gardening tool that I carry around on my trash belt. And I've been using it for a while, and we some, found some issues, and we're going to make a, make a better one. So first off is this component here. Now this is a safety so that you don't accidentally stab into yourself. The problem is, when you're out there picking up stuff, if your shirt is long, it can get underneath here and then you can cut your shirt. So we're going to make a better one that guards all the way around here and make it faster to put it in. Because as it is right now, to take it out is super quick. But when you're going to put it back in, you got to be sure to align it in the right spot. The next thing is that if we pull this out of here, we see we have all these little adjustment holes in here. Well, after using this for a while, we don't need all those. So we're going to just remove it and only have the two holes with the fillets on the edges so that the blade doesn't try to snag on there. Aside from that, this thing has worked out pretty good. We'll pull these magnets out and use them somewhere else. But let me show you a new one. Okay, so here we have the new one. We only have two holes on there for the uh, mounting points. We still have our magnets in the back. That way our blade holds snug against this mount. I uh, forgot to stick the hole right here, so I just drilled it out. I'll make another one of these covers before I actually mount it on my belt. And uh, yeah, yeah, use it to the same bottom part. Go on there. Hopefully, this will make it more reliable from putting it back in. Just like that. There you go, guys. The new uh, gardening tool for my trash belt. Okay, so this was the original sheath. And the problem here is the tip. It's always the putting the tip of the knife in and getting the right spot. So I made this other cover, just like this. The idea being that you have more area in here to make sure you get your knife in the right spot. And then it occurred to me, I have a really good way to do this, and let me show you. So here we see my trash tool belt with the sheath on it. And what we did, or what I did here, is I put a magnet on the front. So now, when I go to put this digging tool in place, it goes right there, and then I can align it and put it into the sheath. Let me put the belt on real quick, and I'll show you how well it works. <clears throat> All right, guys, so don't mind the shorts, but on the first one, we were worried about possibly getting your shirt snagged in there and cut. Well, that's covered now. This thing is completely covered. But now, with the magnet on here, whenever you pull it out and you use it for how you're doing, the magnet helps you align it back into the holder nice and easy. And that's what we want. So now, for a little technical info. If you're making something like this, something that needs to take a lot of pressure and is in this case pretty important you know if you fall in the exact right way it's possible for it to come up and hit this well it's super important how you print this if you look you can see the layer lines on this part let me show you what happens if you print this the wrong way at the moment it's it's printed like this and that's not going to work it's not safe the final version which is printing right now over here has to be printed on its side for safety so let me show you so this right here is your part and the layers are stacked one on top of the other that's where your your least amount of strength is on those stacked layers so if i take this and i apply upwards pressure it just cracks just like that now let me show you on the side okay so we have the same part mounted now with the layer lines going up and down a lot lot stronger so now if i go and i pull on this thing it takes a lot more pressure to actually mess that up. So when you're making something that needs to be strong in a certain direction or for certain applications, super important to think about how that part gets printed because that'll make a big difference as to whether or not it functions the way you want. All right, man, thanks for the question. And yes, it is more convenient. It's, it's all about efficiency. See, when I have it mounted, you get it like this. When I have it mounted like this, then my arm is stretched out. So I can easily snap it off and put it back in. But even when I'm down, it's far from the ground here. So 
If I have something down low, I can still do that. Same function. And that's that's what it's all about. This is probably that is probably the most efficient spot that I can mount that blade in that orientation. The only spot that would be better would be if I took it off and I had it mounted on an arm right here. Because whenever I go to use it, let me show you. <clears throat> whenever I go to use it, I have my grabber claw. So that goes under the arm like so. So about the only spot that I could mount that blade that would be better would be if I had it on my arm right here. But that causes all kinds of other problems when I'm using the remote. So, yep. Works just fine right there, man. And uh, it works great. So I can easily, I can easily take it in, out, do what I need to do. I don't have any issues with it. It attaches straight to my belt via this little Molly connector that I printed out. And uh, it doesn't get in my way when I'm walking. I think that's the best spot for it.